For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris. You've seen humanoid robots before. Remember now, the bot with facial recognition and impressive fall recovery. How about Safer, the robot firefighter built to help the U.S. Navy? Though those definitely fit the humanoid, Bill, you've got to see this guy girl, it almost feels wrong calling it an it. The BBC calls it the first anthropometic robot because... This robot, called Eke Robot, obviously has no blood, skin or flesh. But it has bones, joints, muscles and tendons. The muscle-bound bot was created as part of a three-year project funded by the EU. And though it might seem like this robot is all about the look, the site explains the project's goals to build the first truly anthropometric robot to find out how to control it and finally to investigate its human-like cognitive features. In other words, how does artificial movement play into artificial intelligence? A member of the team says, What we think is that these robots have a really good potential to interact, a better potential to interact with the human environment. Because, as the researchers say, our bodies inform our brains. So for a robot to have artificial intelligence, it needs an artificial body. And Ecker Robot looks like a step in the right direction. For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris.